How's it going there folks? I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs and this is Snazzy's Guide to Applying Static Screen Shields. Now there are two screen shield types that are static, which is what I have here, and this is the flexible plastic kind that does not require water application. And then there is polyurethane, which is what you're going to find in the Zag Invisible Shield in the best skins ever in the bodyguards. And I actually do not recommend polyurethane screen shields because they are pretty sticky uh, and they don't feel like the natural glass display on your eye device or really on any device, uh, be it an Android phone or what have you. Now these displays, uh, these screen shields, uh, I think are a lot better because they do feel more like glass. Now I have a Switch Easy one right here and there are two included with every Switch Easy case, but you can also buy I think a four pack for 10 bucks. So these are pretty cheap and you may be thinking, ah, only four for 10 bucks, I can get 10 on eBay for 60 cents. I do not recommend you do this. The ones on eBay and the ones that are a lot cheaper are crappy. Uh, they do what's called rainbowing. They are not easy to apply. Oftentimes they're really, really thin. They tamper the retina display. They're just not good, and I recommend you spend a couple extra bucks to get a good one. My favorite is the Spigen Steinhill screen shields. These are expensive. They're 20 bucks for two of them, but they're well worth it. Again, it just depends on the actual device you're putting it on, and the better the screen shield, the more money you spend, the better screen shield you're going to get. But a great, good value is Switch Easy, and that's what I'm going to show you today. Now, as you can see, there are two sides. There's an adhesive side and there is a protective film. Now, we're going to want to live the protective side on because what the protective side does is it protects the actual screen shield. So when we use the squeegee that's included, and if there isn't one included, use a credit card to scrape all the bubbles out. You don't want to scrape the actual screen shield. Scrape this little film instead. Now, this is the adhesive side, and this is what we need to pull off to actually apply on the device. But there are a few prerequisites I do want to cover. The first one is washing your hands. I know this sounds goofy, but washing your hands does heaps uh, to make installation a lot easier. Uh, I cannot tell you how many times I've seen people uh, use dirty hands and there's thumbprints and nasty stuff under the actual screen shield. Wash your hands, it'll run uh, a lot better course in the long run. Also use the microfiber that's included. Uh, if there's no microfiber that's included, you can just use a, like a paper towel or something that doesn't leave behind uh, little bits of dust. And you are going to want to do this on a dust-free environment, unlike me. I'm on a tablecloth. It's really, really dusty, so I may get some dust bubbles. But what you should do is do it on a hardwood table or somewhere where there's not a lot of dust or airflow. So uh, I know that sounds like a lot to ask, but it's going to be worth it in the long run. Next, you want to take your adhesive side here and actually peel it off. I recommend peeling it off uh, while the screen shield is facing down so it doesn't pick up a lot of lint or dust. And what I'm going to show you is what I call the taco method. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm the first one to have thought of the taco method. I'm the inventor of the taco method. But I don't take credit for it because there's a lot of different ways to apply and install screen shields. But I think that the taco method is the best. And a lot of other YouTubers have uh, followed this method under my recommendation. And I suggest you use it as well. Rather than using this lateral application, which is a lot more difficult, the taco method lets you pinch all four corners and don't get your fingerprints on the actual underside of the screen shield, but make a little taco shape and line the home button and the speaker button up so that you can get perfect alignment. You don't have to do any of that guesswork that's involved in this lateral application. Uh, just line it up here and uh, let the center touch first. Once you've gotten near perfect alignment, and I can't tell because I'm not actually over my device, so if it's crooked, don't kill me. Let's pull it up. I think I can do a little better. And these are really, really easy. I mean, it's not like stick one time and you're done. They're very, very forgiving. So take your time and do it right. Uh, it's hard to do over a tripod. A foot and a half away, but I think that's pretty close. Eh, it's not, but whatever. I'll just throw it down. Okay, now what you can do is actually just let it down. A lot of people get worried about bubbles, but don't worry about it. You can just work it out there, and you'll be ready to go. Um, now, as you can see right here, there's a big heaping piece of dust, and uh, you can actually address this. It's not too late. A lot of people think once it's down, it's down, and that's actually really pretty false. Now, this protective film, you do want to be careful with this because a lot of the time it takes the whole screen shield with it. So uh, take your time to pull that off, and you're ready to go. Now, that is certainly a piece of dust right there and it's a big one. So rather than work out the rest of the bubbles and just deal with this piece of dust, I'm sick of it. I want to get it out of the way and so that's what I'm going to do right now. Take a piece of scotch tape. Uh, really, really cheap stuff. All you have to do is uh, 
peel the screen shield up with a piece of scotch tape. And I recommend you do this instead of your fingernail because you won't actually bend the uh, screen shield, which makes it a lot harder to put it back on. You're also going to go in to get, wow, I cannot speak English. You're also going to want to get a second piece of scotch tape because we're going to stick the sticky side face up so that it hits the screen shield. Now, once you've done that, you can see that little piece of dust is on the inside. Simply press the screen shield back down and place it on the actual tape right there. So what, as you can see, as you peel it away, that piece of dust is on our tape and we can apply the screen shield 100% perfectly. Peel the tape off carefully and there you go, that piece of dust is gone. And this is a near perfect installation. There are a couple bubbles down here and that's actually a piece of dust so I would have to work that out. But uh, for the sake of video time, there you go. As you can see, this screen shield rainbows a little bit under highly fluorescent light. Uh, screen shields are pretty good from Switch Easy, but really, again, if you do want that ultimate quality, you're going to want to get Spigen Steinhill screen shields. They're the best just spend the extra bucks and get those. But if not, this is a very, very excellent way to apply a screen shield. I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs. Hopefully this will help you apply future screen shields with ease. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.